Hi, my name is Richard. I'm a volunteer with Max Courage from New Bedford, Massachusetts. And today I'll be reading an essay on courage by Asha Allen, taught by Susanna Coy and Miss Godoy from Belmopan, Belize. Throughout my life as a young female, I was consistently told by my mother that girls should be seen but not heard. I've always questioned what it meant and how it impacted me as a young female growing up in Belize. My mother has always been the one who enforced extracurricular activities in my household. My dad is popularly known for his basketball career as a teen and as a young adult. My older sisters who played volleyball and steel pan fill my household with both active and talented people. Seeing this within my household influenced me to join some after school activities. As I became more interested in these activities, I wanted to play football and basketball with my friends at school, but my mother insisted that I engage in more ladylike activities since I was a growing young lady. I was placed in ballet and piano classes because those activities were seen as decent and feminine. In the beginning, I liked dancing with the other girls, but over a period of time, it didn't feel like me. I enjoyed running, sweating, and feeling the adrenaline rush through my entire body. Sitting around a desk, dressing up, or acting mannerly are stereotypical behaviors that are only seen as acceptable growing up as a female. Although we live in a time when women in sports are accepted, we always get labeled as a tomboy or even as a homosexual because we enjoy such activities. Still, I know my mother was trying to avoid me being called names, so I continued taking part in them. When I started Standard 5, I realized that they had sports teams in my community and I wanted to join them. My standard five homeroom teacher told me about a football club that I can join. I was very excited because I knew I would have a perfect excuse to quit the activities that I was already in. So I signed up and I was ready to play football. Being in football came naturally for me. I didn't feel overwhelmed waking up in the morning to play the sport and was excited to run around in the sun with my cleats scraping the grass. Unfortunately, my mom and older women didn't like that I was playing football because the sport was rough didn't seem like an activity that a growing young lady should be participating in. My mom asked me to quit. I was furious. I know that growing up and finding yourself is something that is very difficult to do. I didn't want anyone forcing their opinions and dreams on me. I wanted to be myself and have my own identity. So at 12 years old, I had the courage to stand up for my dreams. Regardless of what our Belizean society believes, I told my mother that even though I'm a growing female, things that seemed ladylike were not for me. At first, my mother didn't like what I was doing, but my bold demeanor led her to understand what I truly enjoyed doing, being myself.